with Good Morning Cleveland. I'm Danita Harris. Hey, good morning. I'm Katie Eusen. We're going to check in with Meg. She's down near Canton, which is already seeing some accidents this morning, so we need to get you aware of that. But first, Trent, what is cooking with the snow right now? We've got more snow falling. Like Danita said, it's uh, it's cold. We'll talk to Meg about how cold it is. You saw her all bundled up out there. Cold, wet, snowy, slushy and a bit gusty as well. So even though we're going to top out at about 30, which is where we are right now, those wind chills are going to stay in the teens all day long and we're going to be tracking snow all day long. I don't expect it to be snowing, uh, you know, in every spot all day long, but we're going to get these bursts of snow, these just quick little hitting little uh, quick accumulations, and that's going to make those roads slick, you know, while you get those bursts. Got one up over the lake, another one north of that. So we're just going to keep watching this all rotate, just kind of move around Ohio. Here's the main low. You see this off to your, uh, just kind of pulling south down 77. As that does that, it's going to pull more of this cool air over that lake and pull up some more of that moisture out of Lake Erie. So let's zoom in on it for you this morning. We'll pause it. We'll show you where we are. We'll show you where the heaviest stuff is falling right now. And we're going to look for the darker purples. You see this right near Mansfield kind of pushing down 71. you got another burst and it's been snowing here for a couple of hours. That's some pretty good snow from Sullen down through Twinsburg. Uh, Brandy wanted to get the National Park through Brecksville. Uh, this is the turnpike here. Probably going to have some slick spots on that. The good news is this has sunk south to where most of this kind of loop we have here. We've got one of our storm trackers driving this loop. This is going to look much better now that the snow's south and those plows can clear the roads out. But that's going to shift the focus down 77 toward Brexville, down 71 Brunswick some pretty good snowfall. We'll show you some ODOT cameras coming up and we'll track out the whole day for you. We're going to be dealing with snow, quick shots of snow, probably realistically until tomorrow afternoon. I'll show you that coming up. OK, Trent just mentioned 77. Let's talk a little bit more about that because right now traffic just opened back up on part of I-77 in North Canton where a crash damaged a street sign overnight. So let's check back in with Meg Shaw. She's been in Canton all morning long. Meg, describe what you're seeing. We know you're feeling cold. <sighs> It is pretty cold here this morning. The, the problem is I'm facing the camera. Of course, the wind is just right in my face, so it's blowing this uh, light snow right in my eyes. But the, I do want to get to the highway here this morning. Katie just mentioned it. The traffic is moving here on 77 northbound once again. But you'll notice this overhead sign here at the Shuffle Street exit is actually gone. The overhead signs that would typically be here, only the side support poles are left over, but as you can see, that support pole is damaged this morning. Now earlier, a semi hit that pole, of course, which supports the overhead signs and damaged that side pole. So ODOT said out of caution, they wanted to take the signs and the structure uh, that stretches across the roadway down uh, just to get traffic moving again. They drug that to the side of the highway and they say they will replace that damaged portion at a later time. So that's the story here in North Canton. Let's get you uh, a, lot, a look at uh, some video from Wadsworth. This was shot by our overnight news tracker. The snow and the cold temperatures there causing some slick roads for drivers. But as you can see, they didn't get a ton of snow overnight. This morning, though, there are several cities and towns with parking bans in effect. The city of or the village of Ma Magador, uh, they have one until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Maslin, you have one in place until tomorrow morning. Plain Township, yours ends tonight at 7. And Lake Township, you have one in place until noon tomorrow. So once again, a live look here uh, as the traffic is reopened on 77 North. But kids, though, if you're waking up wondering, do I have school today? Well, you might want to check it out on our News 5 app or News5Cleveland.com because we have almost 100 school closings this morning. So check that out before you uh, get into your virtual workspace or if you have to get ready to go to school. For now, live in North Kitten, I'm Meg Shaw, News 5.